Hey guys, Russ here. Today's video is going to be all about Charles's Law. Charles's Law relates volume of a gas to the temperature of a gas. Let's get into it. Charles's Law, first of all, uses temperature. Temperature is part of the Charles's Law, and you have to remember, always convert temperatures for Charles's Law into Kelvin. If you don't, there's potential you could get a negative volume because Celsius and Fahrenheit both go negative. Use Kelvin to prevent going negative because notice you have temperature and volume in the same equation. If you have a negative temperature, you could have a negative volume. Negative volumes are impossible, so you can't have a negative number. That's why we have to use Kelvin for all gas law calculations, including Charles's law. Okay, so now Charles's law says that if you have a container that is expandable, such as a balloon or a piston, that when you heat up a gas, the volume of that gas will increase. So imagine you have a balloon, you take it into your freezer, let's say, fill it up with gas in the freezer. Say the gas is at zero degrees Celsius or 273 Kelvin. Bring that balloon out of your freezer and now heat it up to like 50 or 60 degrees Celsius. The gas in that balloon is going to expand. It's going to get very large. Think hot air balloons. They're pumping hot air into that balloon. The balloon expands. Okay, The balloon starts off on the ground and ends up up in the air, getting enough lift to bring the basket and the balloon off the ground. That's a demonstration of Charles's Law. Let's do a calculation. A balloon has a volume of 785 milliliters at 21 degrees Celsius. T1, or Ti, equals 21 degrees Celsius. Let's just immediately calculate it into Kelvin. So that's going to be 294 Kelvin. V1 or VI, V1 or VI equals 785 milliliters. T2 equals 0 degrees Celsius or 273 Kelvin. V F or V2 is the question mark. We don't know how many milliliters that is, but we do know it should go down. We do know the volume should go down because the temperature is going down. Charles's law, volume and temperature are proportional. One goes down, the other goes down. So Charles's law will be V I over T I equals V F over TF, VF then becomes VI, TF, all divided by TI. Let's plug in some numbers. VI is 758 milliliters, multiplied by TF, which is 273 Kelvin, all divided by 294 Kelvin. Bust out your handy dandy calculator. Equals 704 milliliters. 704 milliliters is the final volume. Now, that makes sense. Always check gas law questions for um, logic. Always check gas law problems for logic. We know that the temperature went down. We also know that in Charles's law, if the temperature goes down, the volume of the gas should go down. In this case, we started out at 758. We ended up at 704. Check the temperature, make sure it went down. And indeed, it did. It went from 294 Kelvin to 273 Kelvin, so the volume should go down. So this number makes logical sense. Sample of oxygen has a volume of 420, so VI. 420 milliliters. Ti equals 18 degrees Celsius plus 273 equals 291 Kelvin. Vf equals 640 milliliters. Tf is what we don't know. And it says very clearly in the question, in degrees Celsius. So write a little note right there. We have to convert to Kelvin and then out of Kelvin. 
okay? Because remember, gas laws are always done in Kelvin, always. Ti over Vi equals Tf over Vf. So Tf will be Ti Vf over Vi. That's going to be the uh, rearranged expression. Plug in some numbers, Ti is 291, Vf is 640 milliliters. All that will be divided now by Vi, which is 420 milliliters. Those units are canceling. With your handy dandy calculator, punch in some numbers, punch, punch, punch. 443 Kelvin minus 273. 170. Okay, so there's the final answer in Celsius. And luckily, we have the answer right here in our multiple choice list. So we, we must be right. Let's check it for logic before we do anything else. The temperature went way up. So the volume should also be going up in this question. We start at 420. We end at 640. The volume went up. Temperature went up. Logic works. Okay. All right, now that's the end of the Charles's Law portion of today's lesson. Uh, with that, I want to wish you all good luck and good chemistry.